On the build show today, we're gonna blow your mind with a radiant cooling system. On the build show today, we're talking about radiant cooling, how you can cool your house with chilled water. I'm here with Christoph Irwin. Christoph is the PE at Positive Energy. These guys do an amazing job of designing all my heating and cooling systems. And at their office here, they've got, as far as I know, probably the first install of a radiant cooling system here in their ceiling. Christoph, what are we looking at and how does this system work? So what we're looking at is radiant panels above our heads that are decoupled from the mass so they can change temperature directly and the goal is to condition the people in this space right so you experience comfort when you're not gaining too much heat in the summer or losing too much heat in the winter you can directly mediate that with radiation you know air temperature is kind of indirect wow so no forced air no forced air. Um, just like in the winter time if you've got a house in the north that uh, is in a cold climate you may have radiant heating when i lived in portland and washington dc i had radiators and I'd be across the room and that hot water running through that radiator all the way across the room would make my body feel warm in the surface temperatures around me. Is it kind of the same thing in reverse with us? Yeah, absolutely. We have a larger surface area radiator so we can make it proportionately in the, in the winter colder, right? So 90 degrees instead of 140 a radiator, something like that. 60 degrees in the summer. So we're talking 60 to 90 space conditioning temperatures instead of an air conditioner needs to make in the 30s. Heat pump 140, gas flame 3500. Wow. So this is high temperature cooling, low temperature heating. It's, it's absolutely a game changer. And so if we were to throw the infrared camera on the ceiling right now, how cold is that ceiling? We just did it prior to this. It's 76 degrees, yeah. So it's, and it, your skin's at 90, 92 degrees, so it's absorbing heat right off of you right now. And that's what you experience that's directly. Crazy. Your experience of heat, yeah. So it's June now in Texas. It's probably in the 80s right now, still morning. It's probably gonna get to 100 today. I'm totally uncomfortable in here. There's no air movement. We don't have any fans going. There's no blowing air. And yet I'm totally comfortable. That is wild. It's, it's interesting. Yeah, there's a bit of a psychology of thermal comfort aspect because it's as though it's just not uncomfortable. Like you just delete discomfort. But we, you know, our team here, we recognize, you know, I've grown accustomed to having a hot wall and cold air blowing on mm -hmm. me. That, that's very briefly, I'll tell you that if that thermostat's gonna come on on a conventional system, my wall gets hot, my ceiling gets hot, that heats the air, the air goes over there and tells the thermostat to come on. Now I have a hot building mm -hmm. and cold air coming out. What if I could avoid the hot building? What if I could just, as the building starts to heat up, look, I have a building surface, right? I have a thermally active surface absorbing heat from the building. That's wild. Walk me through uh, what we're seeing here. And, and uh, it looks to me like we've got four by eight panels yeah. that uh, have sheetrock on them. And there's a laser etch design that shows what the PEX tubing behind looks like, just Correct. a small thin tube. And then behind that is a, is a thin sheet of metal that's probably helping to spread out the, um, the cooling or the heating effect of that tubing. Behind that is EPS foam, maybe an inch or two of foam, and that all connects over here to some PEX tubing that's been insulated, that's right. which is then headed where? It goes down, it goes into the manifold, downstairs to the buffer tank, and there's some pumps and valves in there, and then mm -hmm. it goes outside to an air to water heat pump. So basically the heat radiates off your body. Like if I looked at you with an infrared image, you'd see the infrared radiation. I right? mean 98.6. Yeah, so our bodies are radiating heat all the time, exactly. We're burning the fuel, taking in oxygen to burn fuel to create heat. That heat goes from there into the PEX, out, down the manifold, out to the buffer, outside. Man. So yeah, it's absorbing heat off of you, sending it outside. So I'm betting, just like I've been thinking about this, people are wondering here watching this, how's it not sweat? You know, we're in the hot, humid south. It's probably, when I looked this morning, my humidistat outside was 70 some percent humidity. Why is this not sweating? Dedicated dehumidifier. So we have our good old Ultra Air 98H back there. It's mm -hmm. a whole house ventilating ducted dehumidifier. So it's maintaining. A, so we've got a lower dew point in here, but the controls also kind of know absolutely. what's happening too, right? Oh yeah, yeah, if we open the doors and windows, the controls are gonna maintain it above dew point. You're absolutely right. And so it's again, it's, the, it's that poster back there, design around people, a good building follows. I need to make sure, make sure you're not getting too hot or too cold. I also need to recognize you're breathing all the time, right? So I need dry, clean, ventilated air. 
Man, what a cool system. Christoph, thank you for the tour. Now, we're still kind of in the experimental stage. The Masana folks that uh, make these panels would tell you it's ready for prime time, but we don't necessarily have all the infrastructure ready to go. My hope is that you'll see one of these in a Reisinger house in maybe you know one to three or, or maybe as much as five years, but hopefully one to three years. Yeah. How can people who are watching this and want to know more of the specifics get more info on this? We've got a couple episodes on our blog. We've got, uh, excuse me, on our podcast, and we've got entries in our blog. And we're always available if people want to call or email. Yeah, so these guys are, are my mechanical designers. They design all the HVAC systems in my houses. They do an am amazing job. They work all over the country, too. There'll be a link to Christoph and the rest of his smart team in the description below. You should definitely follow their podcast. They're doing some amazing work there. And I'll put a link to the blog post or two that they put on this specific install. But we'll come back and visit you again, Christoph, maybe this fall after you've summer, gone through yeah. the summer. I'm curious after this system's been running for a few months, if you have so experienced anything I. differently. <laughs> Will there be any sweating? Will there be any stains on the drywall? There's, I think there's a lot of uh, kind of interesting questions with this test wall. Guys, thanks for following us on The Build Show. For more info, look in that link. Otherwise, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. We'll see you next time.